Hi everyone, and welcome to a brand new Trains Are Awesome video. Today I want to talk about Chicago. The Chicago L to be specific. But before I do that, I want to welcome any new viewers. Here at Trains Are Awesome, we upload twice a week. On the weekends, we do a longer train trip report, and in the middle of the week, we do either a smaller trip report or a video on any sort of interesting public transport related topic. That's one of these videos today. So please feel free to check out our channel. We have a playlist of featured videos if you're not sure what to watch. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to Trains Are Awesome. Now today we're discussing two L lines in specific, the blue line and the pink line. Now at first glance, these two lines might not have much to do with each other. If you look at a map of the L, you'll notice that the blue line runs through downtown in a tunnel, whereas the pink line takes the famous loop. The pink line is actually the newest color on the L map, having opened in 2006, although the tracks that the pink line run on are much older than that. The line was known as the Douglas Branch, later renamed the Cermak Branch, and was in fact a branch line of what is now known as the Blue Line. Until 2006, trains from Income O'Hare would go to downtown through the tunnel like they do now, and run until Racine Station, after which half of the trains would continue to Forest Park, and the other half would continue to 54th and Cermak. So what happened in 2006 was that the CTA took the Paulina branch, which was a maintenance track that had previously connected the Cermak branch with what's now the Green Line, and used it as a revenue track. So from now on, Pink Line trains leaving Polk Station would continue straight and join the Green Line at Ashland. This improved capacity both on the Blue Line to Forest Park, as well as on what was now the pink line to Cermak, because trains coming from O'Hare didn't have to alternate anymore. But the infrastructure connecting the pink line to the blue line is still there today. What's more, occasionally it's still used. It's a Sunday morning and we're riding the pink line into downtown Chicago. We thought we were going to go to the loop today, but it seems like the CTA had other plans. So right here is the junction between the pink and the blue lines, and we are actually curving off of the main pink tracks, and we will soon head down to join with the blue line tracks. Our train will terminate at Racine today, and we will have to transfer to a blue line train to continue our way into downtown Chicago. Soon after we got off our diverted pink line train, a blue line train towards O'Hare pulled. Now, since the COVID-19 pandemic, headways on the blue line have been somewhat unpredictable, but we were fortunate enough to not have to wait too long. Thanks for watching this short video about a pink line diversion and the history behind it. If there are any more special runs on the CTA over the next year, we're going to try to catch that for you. Please subscribe to Trains Are Awesome, and we'll see you next time.